Hello JavaScript lovers, Raven Rebels here. In this quick video we will learn how to create a very simple npm package in JavaScript. Let's go. Okay, so we start with creating a uh, directory. Let's call it Elvis. And this is the package we want to create. And then we will create another project called the Presley that will import Elvis. And okay, so we create the empty directory Elvis. We do m npm init. And we open up Visual Studio Code. And we create a, a index.js file. And we create a function. We call it say hello. And it will return hello. I'm. Elvis Presley. Okay, so we have a function and we export this function. And then we say that the main attribute is index.js. This is this file. And then we add a type module because this is an ECMAScript module. And uh, we are done. Now let's create the not Presley, let's create a, a consumer cd change directory to consumer. And same thing here, we create a new directory. So now we are going to use our little project. And it's so nice with npm because you can install it locally from your file system or from GitHub and stuff. Okay, so now we open up consumer. And let's create an index.mjs file for module JavaScript. And in the terminal we can say npm install r dash elvis. So it's the path to the file we're installing. And now it's installed it. And if we look at package, we see that it has installed in a dependency called elvis from this location. So in our index day, we can now do import Elvis from Elvis. And hopefully we can do console.log Elvis say hello. And why didn't we not get any typings? Okay, let's do that. Let's see, node index.mjs. Okay, it's not, um, it doesn't have a default export. So I guess we have to say hello or we can do import everything as Elvis. Let's do that instead. Ah. We can of course say instead of saying import ev everything we can say import say hello from Elvis. That should also work. Run it. Ah, it works. But I guess we want to say that export. Uh, you can play around with this. You can say export default, or you can say export default and then add say hello to that. But you get the point. So it's working. This is a very very basic example of how to do it. And when you, it works great to install it locally. Sometimes you have to like install it again to get the update. Sometimes you get the update, sometimes not. Sometimes you can do, um, let's do a change and see if that works. Let's do it. I'm Elvis Presley with exclamation marks. And now if we run the code, we don't have the exclamation marks. So we do npm ci, which will delete node modules, install everything from scratch. And let's see if that works better. Yeah. It did. So after doing npm ci, we did get the, the update. So now we have Elvis Presley with exclamation marks. Okay, now nice. Now you have learned the very, very basics for creating a project. And you can also install stuff from uh, uh, GitHub, for example, using npm install. And then it's a GitHub colon and then username package. So it can be something like uh, Raven Rebels Raven Coin Reader. If I do this, it will hopefully install. Let's see if that works. Newer versions of NPM uh, are refining stuff. 
Okay, so we check out the NPM and here you see that we have installed lots of stuff and we installed it from this place. So let's open that one up. This is the package we installed. Okay, now we have it. Very simple example. Goodbye.